Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Freeman and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what happened to the Blacks in Great Britain course that was scheduled for January 2022. And why I don't think the same thing is going to happen to the course scheduled for January 2023. Now at any point, feel free to click the notification bell and subscribe to my channel to get more of my content. So without further ado, let's begin. For those of you who liked my Blacks in Great Britain Facebook page back in 2021, you may be wondering what happened to the Blacks in Great Britain course that was scheduled for January 2022. I set up the Facebook page, I made some posts, I posted some YouTube videos, and then... Well, to understand what happened, let's first go back to December 2019 when the course was originally approved. To prepare for the course that was originally scheduled for January 2021, I let all the students I was currently teaching know about the course. I also let students who I had taught in previous semesters know about the course as well. I put up flyers. I planned to set up a Facebook page for recruiting. And then... Tonight, U.S. cases of coronavirus more than doubling, with two new cases in Southern California and one in Maricopa County, Arizona. The death toll rising here in the U.S. to at least 36, more than 1,200 cases now reported in 42 states and Washington, D.C. Tonight, four more states added just today. Breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight from four state governors as the coronavirus pandemic spreads. New York, California, Illinois, and Connecticut all ordering non-essential employees to stay home. Those orders cover 75 million people across the United States. Just my luck. I set up my first study abroad course during an unprecedented global pandemic. Of course, not having a class run is not the worst thing that can happen to you during a pandemic. But I was still disappointed. I mean, I was excited about going to England. I was excited about meeting and getting to know my students. I was excited about going to all these different excursion sites, basically why I wanted to do a study abroad course in the first place. So the course was officially shut down in July 2020, along with everything else in the country. At that point, I stopped preparing for the study abroad course and started to prepare to teach remotely for the foreseeable future. But then came a ray of hope when this happened. Good morning, Becky. This is the news that we've been waiting to hear. Pfizer and BioNTech reporting the first results from their phase three vaccine trial, saying that in this interim look, the vaccine showed to be more than 90 percent effective in preventing COVID-19 cases. We begin tonight with that new hope in the battle against the coronavirus. One week after that news from Pfizer tonight, news on a second vaccine. Moderna announcing its vaccine is nearly 95 percent effective. Fast forward to January 2021. I tell all my current students about the Blacks of Great Britain course now scheduled for January 2022. I put up flyers. I actually set up the Facebook page. I made it all the way to October 2021. I even had 12 completed applications, which is enough for the course to run. But of course, life comes at you fast. Tonight, the UK reported more than 50,000 new cases, its highest number in three months as officials are investigating a new mutation of the virus being referred to as Delta Plus. Overall, cases are up 18 percent in just the past week. Deaths have risen by 11 percent, despite Britain's fast and thorough vaccination program. So the course was canceled for a second time. And the worst part is that I had a full class ready to go and I was ba basically just a couple months away from it actually happening. So you may be asking, what do I think is gonna be different this time? The course has been shut down for COVID twice already and we're still in a pandemic. If I'm doing the same thing and I expect a different result, isn't that just basically the definition of insanity? Well, the reason I think the course will run in January 2023 is because when the course was last shut down in October 2021, the U.S. State Department had issued a level four travel advisory basically saying do not travel to the U.K. because of COVID-19 as well as um, the potential of terrorism. As of April 2022, the travel advisory has been downgraded to a level two. Meaning that, you know, because of the risk of terrorism, you should still practice caution 
but all language regarding COVID-19 has been removed from the travel advisory. Now, of course, there's always the risk of a variant shutting down everything again, but currently hospitalizations are down, uh, deaths are down, um, and right now, me and my team who are working on this course are doing everything we can to conduct this course safely. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this course or like recommendations for books, movies, or TV shows related to Black British culture, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.